everyone. It's Jessica. Thank you for watching with me today. So today I have a project. I'm going to make a one page layout here and it's going to be actually about scrapbooking. I'm scrapbooking about scrapbooking. Uh, if you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I am a close to my heart maker. That chapter of my life is coming to an end at the end of April. And while it's still fresh in my mind, I thought it would be fun to preserve uh, the story of my journey with close to my heart. So I am using some journey cardstock <laughs> uh, to tell that story as well. But I'm just going to have a little bit of fun here making a scrapbook page about scrapbooking. So I went through my Make It From Your Heart Volume 6 book and I found this double page layout. And I think that the right hand side is going to be perfect for the one page that I need to create. Uh, it has a lot of space in there for journaling. And then also I have some stamping that I want to do. So I think it'll have plenty of room for that. I've gone through my stash and pulled out any of my stamps that I have that have anything to do with scrapbooking. It turns out I have quite a few. I'm really excited about that Scrappy Lady stamp because I haven't really used her too much and I've always wanted to. Uh, so I am excited to get her on the page today. I have a couple of other ones. Just I was looking at sentiments or you know anything at all that might be relevant and work on my layout that I'm making. So I've gone ahead and cut the papers according to that pattern in the Make It From Your Heart Volume 6. And I also pulled in some mix-in papers from my stash. So I have an older Glacier one, and this one here is that mink color. I love the way that they work with that Journey cardstock. So, you know, I see online a lot of people kind of questioning what would be some good color combinations with Journey. I personally love pairing it with Glacier. Um, I think that those blue greens work really well together. And then that mink is just the perfect neutral to add a little something else as well. So I'm going to do, even though I have three photos, I am going to put two of them into a flip flap. So it'll still just look like a one photo layout. And then, like I said, I like this pattern because it gives me a lot of space to include the stamping down there. So I'm going to stamp my scrappy lady um, and put her down in that bottom corner of the white space. Now to prepare my papers, I am going to grab some coordinating ink colors and edge distress most of them. Um, and so I'll just take a little bit of time to swipe direct to paper to them. That's the way I usually do it because it's faster. And then I thought that it would be fun to also bring in a little bit of yellow. That's another color that I find works really well with that Journey color. So again, if you're kind of looking for a color palette for Journey, um, I think Glacier and then this is Honey Butter. Uh, those are ones that pair well nicely with it. Uh, rather than ink distressing this one, I am going to use my little sanding disc to scratch the color off of it and reveal the white core. I love that kind of edge distressing and I do that quite often to my cardstock. Okay, so this one is going to be on the bottom. So I will go ahead and adhere this photo directly to the photo mat, which is cut at six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, now I only have room for a four by six in that uh, flip flap, so that's fine. Um, by the time I adhere all of that together, um, the two photos in the flip flap will just kind of sit over top of this bottom one and still look like they're matted, even though I can't get that four and a quarter by six and a quarter mat into the flip flap. Now I decided to stamp my lady and fussy cut her because I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending on that white cardstock that I've got going on my layout. So I did use the tri-blend markers to color her in and it was a lot of fun. Um, although I must say that this scrappy lady is a little bit fancier than I usually look when I am scrapbooking. Uh, she's got a dress on and it looks like some dress shoes um, and a cute little cardigan. I'm usually in my pajamas or my workout clothes, but um, you know, she's cute. And I also gave her a lamp and then a little container that has some pencils and paint brushes. And I'm going to pop those up with some foam tape later. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll do a banner or something like that at the top of this white cardstock piece, but, um, I haven't quite gotten that far yet. Right now, I'm just thinking about the ink blending that I want to do behind my scrappy lady. I thought I would do a pink color, but I wasn't sure what pink color. So I did grab ballerina, peach, and flamingo. Um, I assumed ballerina would be the best bet, but I am testing it out on a scratch piece of paper first. And it actually ended up being a little bit too light and kind of like the wrong hue of pink of what I was wanting. I assumed Flamingo would be too dark, but actually when I tried it on that test paper, it ended up being perfect. So that is one 
thing that I do love about blending brushes is that it's such a light application of color that you really can control the like the richness of the color and how dark it appears because you have to build that that color up as you layer it on. Uh, so I was really able to control how pink it was behind my scrappy lady. And that's just one of my favorite things about scrapbooking. I love stamping. I love coloring with the tribal markers. I do love ink blending. Um, and then I also really love my white gloss splatters. So I'm bringing in my Dina Wakely white gloss spray. And I'm thinking probably in a couple of the corners, I'm going to put a few of those drops on there. So um, I will pull out my all-purpose mat here. That way it will make cleanup a little bit easier. Uh, sometimes I get lazy and I don't pull out a splatter box or my all-purpose mat. And then when I go to do my, my gloss splatters here, I just end up with them all over the table. And they don't clean up very well um, if they will stain. So I just did do a little bit of careful splattering today but I like those white drops. It's another one of my favorite things. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that flip flap in the bottom photo. And like I said, once you flip that down, it does look like the other two have that yellow photo mat on there as well. And then Scrappy Lady, she's gonna go down here in the corner. And then, like I said, I will pop up her little uh, extra pieces with some fun foam tape. So before I glue her down, I'm like, you know what, we gotta give her a little bit of sparkle because Scrappy Lady's like glittery kinds of sparkly things. So I used a clear shimmer brush and I just tapped around that pink uh, ink blending that I had. And you can't see it on camera, but in person stuff, definitely noticeable. And it's a lot of fun just kind of having her in that like cloud of sparkly pink. So I glued her down and I put those two up with some foam tape. And now I need to figure out title and journaling and all of that fun stuff. Here you can see a closer look. Isn't she fun? Like I said, she's a little fancy, but you know, we can dream. We must all want to look like that when we're scrapbooking. Okay, so I'm back to my big collection of stamps here that have to do with scrapbooking, and I'm just testing out by holding them over that white space to see, you know, what could I put as a title? Um, I was thinking that I wanted to stamp a sentiment down here in the bottom cor left corner next to her, and then I thought, well, you know, could I do like close to my heart as the title? Like, what is my title? I don't know. Um, I spent a long time messing around and trying to decide on a title. Um, it, it took me forever. And you can see I also have that pink create uh, thing up there that was in one of my envelopes, something I had made for a previous project. I tried working that in, but I end up not using it. So since I'm trying to incorporate all of my favorite things about scrapbooking on my layout about scrapbooking, you know, of course, I'm going to have to do a little bit of stitching here because I love sewing and stitching on my layouts. So I'm just grabbing a couple of different green DMC embroidery threads here to see which hue is going to match the green that I've got in my Scrappy Ladies dress. And I've picked one and I'm using a little foam mat here and then a really old ruler from close to my heart that has been broken into, thanks to my son. Um, but it's really fun because it has like all of these uh, holes on it that you can use to make certain patterns. So I'm gonna punch through, um, it's like a double row of holes that when you go through and stitch them, it kind of looks like a zigzag. So I didn't want to do just a straight back stitch, but I wanted to give it a little something extra. And I'm going to put one in the bottom left corner and one in the top right corner of that glacier piece of um, pattern paper. Isn't this so fun? I love the way that that looks. And it just brings in that little pop of green. So while we're thinking about colors that work well with Journey, you know, as you can see, I really do like that glacier and then the yellow and then the green works really well too. And that glacier pattern paper actually has little hints of green in it too. So it really kind of pulled it all together. Okay, I did stamp my journaling lines and then I decided to go with a new chapter from one of those stamp sets um, as the title. And now I'm just trying to figure out like the extra little embellishments and decorations on this page. Um, I was thinking I needed something at the top of the photo and 
I just really, I couldn't decide what. Um, it felt a little blank up there, uh, but I wasn't very happy with anything that I tried out. And I did cut a lot of this out because I fussed and fussed and fussed. And I think I even had to like walk away from it and come back to it on another day. Um, I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to do this. I am trying to be mindful of my visual triangle. So of course I've got the scrappy lady. I figured, you know, the title could also be like a third point, especially because I have that stitching up there as well. Um, so I just need, or a second point, I mean, so I needed a third point. And I decided to go with these tags and I just tucked them behind where my flip flap and my photos were. I don't love them, but they'll do. <laughs> so it was kind of one of those things. I'm like, I need to just make a decision and move on. That happens to me sometimes. All right, and then I have this stamp here. This is an old, old, old stamp of the month, and it has a lot of scrapbooking related sentiments on it. And it says, Eat, sleep, scrapbook, repeat. Yes, please. <laughs> That's what I love to do. So there's just enough room. It fits perfectly in that bottom left hand corner. I'm going to stamp it next to my scrappy lady and let that kind of be like a little subtitle um, to go along with this page. And then I feel like I have a lot of white space still around her head and like underneath the journaling. So I'm looking at it and I want to bring in that pink color too. There is pink in her cardigan and so I thought that that might be a fun accent color just to kind of pop it a little bit more. And so I have grabbed a couple of the heart stamps from one of those stamp sets that I had out and I'm going to scatter a couple of stamped hearts. Now, honestly, I was a little nervous to do it at this point. This is always where I go to stamp those little last few things, and then I sometimes end up regretting it, and then it's too late. Um, I don't love them, but again, it was a lot of empty white space, and it needed some things, so I was like, okay, I guess that'll do, and I do like that pop of pink, but I'm not sure in hindsight if I would have stamped or done that exactly the same, but I think it turns out okay, and then, you know, of course, the heart go along with close to my heart so I'll put a couple up at the title as well so that way I have a trio a visual triangle of pink hearts both in enamel dots and stamps and that is going to be it so here you can see a couple of close-ups of the layout and again just I, I really like this color combination for journey I see a lot of people kind of questioning that I know there are so many other ones that work really well too but if ever you are kind of stumped maybe try pulling in glacier and yellow that green and the pink work well too um, and then I don't know has have you ever scrapbooked uh, yourself scrapbooking because I don't know it's kind of a big part of my life and I definitely wanted to record the story of it thanks for watching with me today and happy crafting see you next time